Today, I'll show you how to make a super magnet ball bearing sculpting toy. Interested? Here we go. What I have here is a very thin piece of Lexan, a box, what I've made out of a square piece of wood. I'm using an office in-out box, and to keep things from bouncing around a little bit too much, I'm going to use this piece of mesh rubber that you put inside of drawers. The super magnet, you need four screws. In my case, a three-inch hole saw, and in the back I've used a piece of plywood with four dowels to match up. I'm going to take the ring off of it, but I want to make this build so that I can retrieve the super magnet and use it for other things. So that's why I came up with this idea. I pre-drilled the Lexan in four places and just have some small screws just to keep the Lexan in place. If you look at my other video, I'll post a link down below. This was rated or sold as a 350 pound force magnet. I validated that this particular one was a 260 pound force magnet. And I want to use it for magnet fishing and all sorts of other ideas. See, the magnet will mount in there like that. And then I'll be able to play with it, what I'm calling a sculpting toy or an office toy. The back just has some little cushions on there just to raise it up a little bit so it doesn't scratch any surfaces. The ring comes off fairly easy. Sure, I'm going to get more comments about not having a big Phillips screwdriver and how I'm using a flathead for that. But as you can see, it fits in there really well. All right, that's come off. Bing. Bing, put this off to the side. So there's a super magnet. In the spirit of magnets, I've marked all the pieces north and south, just as a reference point so they'll all line up. North, south, north, south goes on top, north, south on the bottom. These are just regular dowels, quarter inch dowels I've cut down and then pre-drilled and then stuck them in with some wood glue. I've peeled the back off the Lexan, made sure that surface is clean. Peel the sides up and then I'm just going to put them in place and put in the screws. The screws are nothing major, they're about half an inch, standard little screws, instead of gluing it down because the glue would look kind of funny. Okay, so all four screws are in place. Wipe off the magnet a little bit, goes in there. There's a little bit of gap, so I'm going to use this bumper. That's purely optional. Probably could go straight down and put the top on. So you can line up the four, you can hear it bouncing around a little bit. So I'm just going to take care of that by putting this felt cushion in the back. When I want to take the back off, I just put in a screwdriver, twist a little bit, and there you go. Comes right off. Magnet's intact. Once I installed the cushion, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. I'm not too worried about that, but it's in there. It's not jostling around like it was before. Peel the top off, and voila. It won't be as strong because the Lexan, even a painted surface, starts to degrade the ability of the super magnet. And I'm not going to use any hard surfaces where kids or people will get their fingers pinched. You could use this base here like this. In the center, you put it like that. I like the flexibility of the design. And then this area here is where all the ball bearings can be stored. This is purely optional, but I just wanted to put this in here, not only for the look, but also to just keep the various metal pieces from banging around. And for the cutting, I'm just using a nine millimeter straight edge. I'm not even gluing it down. I may tape it down. We'll see how it works out. All right, the mesh is in place, the super magnet's in place. Now, what can you use? For all my builds, I just so happen to have a lot of ball bearings of different sizes, one inch, three quarters, half inch. I'm gonna pour them all in there and see how it works. Here we go, we're just gonna pour them in. Lost one, lost two. It's like popcorn. Now we start building. I've been at this for a little while. It's a lot of fun. There's an infinite number of sculptures you could make. This just helps them balance, keeps them on course. And when your sculpture collapses or you're done, you just push it to the side and you're cleared off, ready for your next build. And you're putting them in one at a time. Too boring. You can go to the extreme version by just turning it around and picking them all up. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching.